Surgery is performed to resect a tumor containing a bronchopulmonary segment. Which of the following structures define the boundaries of the segments? In each lung, there are lobes and segments. And the segments, there are 10 segments in each lung, having different names or sometimes similar names. But in general, a segment is a piece of a lung that is pyramidal in shape. The base of the pyramid is toward the periphery of the lung. And the apex of the pyramid is toward the hilum of the lung. Each of these segments has its own blood supply and bronchial supply. So it has a segmental bronchus like this one, which we see in this X-ray. This is a special X-ray. Contrast medium is injected into the bronchial tree and it's called a bronchogram. So we can see the subdivisions of the bronchial tree. And this is a apical basal segment of the right lung. And you can see that in this segment, there is a segmental bronchus. Together with the segmental bronchus, there is a bronchial artery, a branch of a bronchial artery, lymphatic vessel, a branch of pulmonary artery. I'm drawing it here in blue because it contains venous blood. So for each segment, there are these branches that supply the segment. Segmental bronchus, bronchial artery, pulmonary artery, and a lymphatic. But the pulmonary veins, they are intersegmental in their location. They carry oxygenated blood back to the heart, but they are intersegmental in their location. And so each of these tributaries of the pulmonary veins drains more than one segment, adjacent segments. Now let's go back to the options. Which of the following structures define the boundaries of the segment? Is it a segmental bronchus? No, because as I have just mentioned that the segmental bronchus is located within the segment and not at the boundary. Bronchial arteries are within the segment. A bronchomediastinal lymph trunk. This is a large lymph trunk that is located outside the lung and it drains lymphatic vessels from the lung but it is located outside the lung and it drains into uh, either into the right lymph duct or into the thoracic duct and it does not define the boundaries of the bronchopulmonary segments pulmonary arteries the pulmonary arteries which carry the deoxygenated blood and were here represented in in blue are located within the segment are on and do not define the boundary of the segment because they are located within. And it remains that the pulmonary veins actually, which are located at the boundary of the segment, which drain more than one segment and are located at the uh, boundary of the segment, this is the correct option here.